We have got more now for you on the capture of that 17-foot Burmese python that had 73 eggs. Uh, it was found in the Big Cypress National Preserve. Thanks for sticking with us at 6.30. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Jane Monreal. And Fox 4's Carl Fortier shows us how these python hunters are using that specific technology to help them track down these snakes. Well, 12,500 pounds of this invasive species have been removed from southwest Florida in the past five years. One python expert tells me that, like this most recent python, much of that success is due to radio tracking. To get to that size, it makes you wonder how much they've, they have consumed of our native wildlife. Wildlife biologist Ian Bartosik is concerned about a severe reduction in the mammal population in the eastern Everglades due to invasive pythons. You play a hide and seek game out there in the landscape tracking. This 17 foot python, the biggest on record caught at Big Cypress in Collier County, was found using a method that's starting to give python hunters a major advantage, implanting radio tracking devices in male pythons. You need an antenna, a receiver, and then a transmitter. Armed with a receiver, the python hunters follow the radio beacon sent from the implanted snakes right to their quarry. And during python breeding season from November to March, he says the males only have one thing on their minds. We've found over the years that they're pretty much a heat-seeking missile to large female snakes. The 17-footer caught at Big Cypress was full of eggs, 73 in all. But just two years ago, an even bigger python was brought into the Conservancy of Southwest Florida. She had 95 eggs. Bartosik says that despite their size, the invasive snakes are very hard to find in the wild. You can see the rewards of large gravid snakes that will not be laying those eggs during this breeding season because they were captured. In Collier County, Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner.